Hello everyone. My name is Vidya and I'm the CEO of Nodded Learning. Nodded Learning was started with the mission to bring together the latest research and the latest technology to create high impact educational games. I'm excited to share Problemscape with you today. So what is Problemscape? It is a role-playing adventure game set in a 3D virtual world. It is also a game developed with fun and engagement in mind. It is a problem-based learning game for introductory algebra, which uses the game's narrative to put a spotlight on applications of math. It is an integrated learning environment that has videos, animations, practice, and reviews. But most importantly, it is our vision of how research can be brought to practice. And I would like to show you some examples of how we use research in design. So when we develop an activity, we look at learning science research to see if there is empirical evidence to support a particular teaching methodology. Sometimes it goes the other way and we get inspired by some research to create an activity as well. For example, TeachPad, which was developed with a grant from the National Science Foundation, was inspired by studies done at Stanford University, which showed that students put more effort into learning when they know that they had to teach a concept to someone else. In this activity using the TeachPad, the player has to teach a virtual character how to evaluate expressions using the order of operations. To design activities, we use research in cognitive science as our guide, taking cognitive load and working memory capacity into consideration and creating interactions that introduce productive difficulty and strengthen associations in long-term memory. To make videos for a math concept, we start with questions like what makes this subject difficult to learn and what are common misconceptions and mistakes and then we look for answers in mathematics education research. Sometimes my students get confused between 3 times 5 and 3 to the power of 5. Let's start with 3 blocks. When we multiply it by 5, we get 5 sets of 3 blocks. Let us now raise 3 to the power of 5, which means that 3 is multiplied by itself 5 times. Did you see how fast the exponent grew and why? One mistake people often make is that they think that addition has to be done before subtraction and that multiplication has to be done before division. This is not correct. When an expression has both an addition and subtraction, they have to be evaluated in whatever order they come in, from left to right. And finally, we use research in psychology to understand what can increase students' motivation and persistence in problem solving and how to decrease their math anxiety. In Problemscape, we use the game's narrative to find out if a student has math anxiety and throughout the game as they complete problems, 
we use the dialogue to reinforce their self-efficacy. We are educating a generation of kids who grew up playing video games and who are used to interacting with amazingly immersive virtual worlds. Problemscape is our first attempt to use the power of technology and the power of research to make games that make a difference. Everyone knows that playing is fun. Let's also make playing count. Thank you.